click the subscribe button and be hooked to my channel hey guys welcome to kitchen storm okay so there is one thing i'm pretty confident about making and that is this cheese omelet so without any delay let's get started first up the ingredients are one egg one tablespoon onion chopped one tablespoon capsicum chopped one teaspoon green chilies chopped one and a half tablespoon of milk one teaspoon red chili powder two tablespoon of cheese grated one tablespoon of butter one teaspoon of oil now start by turning on your flame to medium and placing your pan by the time the pan gets warm we will work with our ingredients you can see i have my green chilies capsicum and onion here along with an egg some milk and some cheese for later I'm just going to mix everything in this tall glass and whisk everything with the help of this fork. Start by breaking up the egg. Add the milk, add the veggies, add some red chili powder which is completely optional and start whisking it. Now notice that I haven't added any salt because we will naturally get that by adding the cheese later. I personally do not recommend adding any salt to this. Now coming to my pan, I'm adding a dollop of butter and spreading it nicely. You can notice that my pan is not smoking hot, it's just warm enough to melt the butter. Collect the remaining butter to the center. Add about a teaspoon of oil to the center. We are doing this because when we add the egg mixture, we want it to spread evenly across the pan and later this will help us to slide off the omelet extremely easily. Keep the flame at medium and start grating your cheese on top. The amount of cheese is completely up to your liking, but as always, the more the better. Now close the lid, turn your flame to medium high and let it cook for 30 to 40 seconds. Do not overcook or cook the eggs completely. You are looking for a little bit of moisture from the eggs which will later cook itself on the plate. Remember this, if it's cooked in your pan, it's overcooked on your plate. Once you remove the lid, you will find your omelette to be really fluffy and bubbling up with cheese. You can see that the omelette is sliding very easily in my pan. And there it goes on the plate. Serve it with some toasted bread and you're good to go. This is an absolutely no-fail recipe to make the most amazing cheese omelette just for one. So do try this out and let me know if I could fix your next Sunday breakfast dilemma. Comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Enjoy!